Hey socialites, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Ariel. I do mainly beauty videos, fragrance, and lifestyle. So if those are the type of videos you enjoy, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and come join the family. In case you guys didn't see the October makeup tray, we're gonna address the elephant in the room, these hats <laughs> that I'm gonna be wearing the next few videos. My hair is yellow. <laughs> so we're gonna get that fixed in a couple days, but until then you guys will see hats okay so let's jump right into the video so today is my october fragrance tray video which is one of our favorite videos over here if you're new here this is a curated tray that i put together every month of fragrances that i want to be more intentional about using you know during whatever month it is now since it's october um it's kind of sort of getting a little cooler, maybe a couple degrees, not much <laughs> here in Houston, but you know, it's fall nonetheless. And on my tray, I wanted to pull for some of those more gourmand, maybe spicy, warm, comforting scents. So hopefully this video encourages you guys to pull out maybe a perfume or two that you hadn't used in a while or something that feels a little bit more like fall for you. Comment down below, let me know what fragrance are you wearing today and what what are some of those perfumes that you're gonna put on your tray this month? So first up is Eilish from Billie Eilish. This is a sweet vanilla scent. So pretty and a little bit spicy, not like a strong spicy, but just a little bit. Almost like somebody sprinkled a little cinnamon sugar in there. Mm, it's so pretty y'all. It also has a little cacao in there and you do smell it on the undertone, like a slight little chocolatey undertone in there, but this is nice. It's warm, it's sweet, it's pretty. It's not super, super strong. This is one that I also wear to bed as well and excited to wear this month. Next up is a fragrance that was actually on September's favorite because I wore it a few times and August because it was sort of new to my collection and it's nice. It's warm, it's woodsy, it gives fall to me and this is Sempre Mio from Fendi. Now it is new, Fendi just relaunched or launched you know a fragrance line I think over the summer or not too long ago y'all not even a year ago. Oh it's so sweet, it smells so elevated, such a nice one. There's only three notes in this fragrance, which is orange blossom, lemon, and cedar wood. And it smells really nice. It's not one of those strong, cause I know sometimes in cedar wood, it can give masculine. And I do feel like a man could get away with this, but when you smell it, it doesn't smell, it's not like strong or that's something a man could wear. It's just warm and a little woodsy. It's not like ebony woods. And I know some of you guys love Ebony Woods, but to me, that's too strong and woodsy. That one's definitely masculine or leans masculine. Um, this one doesn't. It's middle of the road, warm and comforting in my opinion. So yeah, excited for this. Next fragrance on the tray was actually in my top five best fragrances that launched in 2023. And it just recently relaunched at Sephora and on Huda Beauty's website and the girlies went nuts. And this is Kayali's The Wedding Silk Santal. Oh, such a nice, beautiful, vanilla, elegant, feminine scent. And I love that Kayali puts the fragrance notes on the back of it. It makes it easier for me. <laughs> so it has sparkling champagne, white freesia, pink praline, lush nectarine, sandalwood, and sugar musk. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, y'all, it smells even better than it did last year. This is so gorgeous. It's almost making me wish I would have picked up a full size bottle when they just relaunched it, but look how much I have left. So I was like, Ariel, don't, you're doing too much, but it smells so good. There's something in here that smells, is it, it's the nectarine. You smell that bright fruit note that's not like sharp. Everything's so smooth in here and elegant. This is gorgeous. One thing about it, I'm looking forward to seeing how long it lasts now because this gives you two to three hours of wear. So, and that's what most of Kayali's fragrances I found. Um, but because this has been sitting since last year, 
let's see how long this is going to last so i'll keep it on my arm right here and i'll keep you guys posted in the comments or either in the description box but if not it's still beautiful to me even with the two to three hours i would definitely buy a full size bottle again so if this is an every year relaunch in october i definitely repurchase this next october this next fragrance was my most worn perfume in 2023 for fall winter to the point I had to put it away definitely used half of it and this is YSL Libre Intense I love the Libre line love it the new one that just came out I did a full review of that it's up on my channel if you want to take it check that out but it's similar to this one is similar to Le Parfum so if you have those two I don't think you need the new one even though it's gorgeous y'all this is such a an elegant scent it smells so rich y'all this is the rich auntie right here I like this so much better than the original Ah, uh, it's sweet. It smells like brown sugar in here, but I don't think there's brown sugar in here. It's very ambery too. There's a little vanilla in here. There's jasmine in here. It's some tonka bean. It lasts all day. This is a projector that lasts all day. It's a head turner. This is one of those that you get whiffs of yourself all day. You don't grow nose blind to this one throughout the day. It's just, this is so beautiful. I've heard a couple people say they didn't like it and that it gives, somebody even said this gives old lady. Comment down below and let me know what you think about this. But if I was to put an age on this, I would say 30 to 35 and up. So I say rich auntie, y'all say old lady, whatever the case may be, this old lady will be wearing it because I love it. It's so pretty. It's so sweet and elegant and classy and all the things. I will say that this feels a little bit more evening to me, even though I wear this during the day as well. It layers great with any of your vanillas or anything like that, anything sweeter to sweeten it up, but it's already sweet, you know what I mean? But this is great. I'm so excited to have this on the trade this month. So most likely I'm gonna use this up between this month and next month. I'm not gonna repurchase this. I'm gonna repurchase Le Parfum instead, which is very similar and even more incredible. So the next perfume is a yummy marshmallow scent, you guys. I picked this up during the perfume sale at Sephora last year. I was excited for this. I went to two stores. The first store I went to, they had it, but it looked like the box was open. So I drove out to another location to get me a fresh box. You know how extra we can be sometimes, but this is so pretty to me. Some people just say it's basic and okay, but it's so pretty to me. This is Princess by Killian. The full name is I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess. It smells like sweet marshmallows and vanilla. It's warm and comforting. There's a little bit of, there's a tea note in here that gives it like a slight earthy undertone. But when I tell you slight, it's nothing to be afraid of if you don't like earthy. It's fun. This is something to me, I feel like you can wear fall, winter, during the day or at night. And almost everything that I mentioned today, by the way, layers together. You can mix match everything I mentioned today and get a whole yummy, sweet vibe. Especially this one, girl. Like these two together. These two together. This mixed with Eilish. Like this is good. But Princess, similar to the Kaoli fragrance, you only get, you know, two, three hours before this wears off. So layer a good body cream underneath, a good vanilla yummy body cream underneath and go for it because it smells so good to me. And next couple fragrances on the tray, these are layering fragrances for me, especially this Kaoli one. Um, and then these two next ones are also bedtime fragrances for me. So this is Kaoli Vanilla 28, y'all. And so I got this um, in last year's um, winter Sephora sale and I went through half of it. And I also went through a travel size of it and it is a beautiful vanilla scent slightly spicy there's brown sugar in here 
it's a little ambery y'all this is so sweet and good it's a great layering fragrance to mix with any of your stronger fragrances that may be a little too masculine or maybe for whatever reason you want to sweeten it up this is so so nice it's also beautiful on its own but it doesn't last very well i already told you guys about kaoli um, but when you do your body cream or maybe a baby oil gel on first and then spray it down and don't touch it don't dab it together just let it air dry on your skin you'll get longer wear that way but this is yummy it is beautiful these two together gorgeous okay these two together incredible <laughs> everything I mentioned I'm excited to mix these two together and to bed so good for bed just so yummy <laughs> and then the next was actually a gift from my girly and so this was a bedtime scent for me too i wore it a couple times during the day and so this i'm gonna be layering with eilish and this one is choco musk okay and it smells sweet and chocolatey and delicious i know some of you would probably think which is what I thought the very first time when I heard people start talking about it. Um, and this is an Amazon scent, by the way. This is the 50 ml bottle, and so it's affordable. Oh my goodness, it's a little bit stronger than it was last year, which I love. It's sweet. It's It almost reminds you of Eilish, but imagine if Eilish, if that cacao note was amped up like two, three times more than what it is. A little spicy but not too spicy you get that chocolatey yumminess this is so good so I'll be layering this to wear during the day and I'll also be wearing this for bedtime I do have one more perfume on the tray and then we're gonna move on to a couple of body creams I want to tell you guys about and this is commodity milk such a beautiful fragrance and this was actually gifted to me this summer by the brand this is probably the strongest fragrance on the tray this is beast mode so if you know anything about commodity fragrances they come in like three different fragrance tiers or strengths like they have a personal one that's a softer version of you know milk or whatever fragrance they have they have expressive which is this one it's like the middle one that projects really great and then they have bold which is like the beast mode one so every scent that they have they have the personal expressive and bold i typically like to go with their expressive to me commodity milk and bold is too bold and there's something in there that's extremely sharp and almost headache inducing for me but this one the middle one expressive is incredible it may lean a little masculine it it can lean masculine I'm not even gonna say a little bit but in a good way not in a bad way at all but if you're somebody that only likes sweet soft dainty ladylike fragrances which I completely understand overstand that because that's usually me but this is beautiful it's perfect for fall winter it's sweet it's a little vanillic it's definitely woodsy there's also a marshmallow note in here as well so layering these two together would be chef's kiss i plan on trying these together so let me know if you've tried these together um, but also i had the deluxe sample version of this like larger than you know like one of the good size ones and i wore ysl libre intense mixed with this that deluxe that i had together fall winter i wore that combo out so much i had to create a youtube short to tell you guys about it beautiful combination this gives this just blows you out of that if you don't want attention please don't wear this y'all because it's a head turner oh it just gives warm comfort and this is like gives cozy sweater by the fireplace vibes you know or heavy chunky sweater going to some sort of restaurant that has like a log fire going in there or something i don't know y'all this is so nice so it's strong because it's you know it's, it has that woodsy note in there that can lean masculine i can see how some women don't like it but i really do enjoy this one so so another recent relaunch is joe malone's ginger biscuit it. 
and this is very literal it smells literally like a gingerbread cookie fresh out of the oven it's very it's sweet it's a little spicy like cinnamon and nutmeg in here it's gorgeous this is so beautiful um, it layers well with like I said anything over here these two together are incredible incredible this with this so sweet and yummy smells just like a snack this is so pretty to me I raved about this last year so comment down below let me know what you think about this this is a hit or miss for some people some people said you know they they really didn't care for it that much but if you want to smell like a warm gingerbread cookie fresh out of the oven um this is what you need you guys oh so good so they may have sold out love this so moving on to some body creams i do have three body creams that i want to mention to you guys and one is jolly gingerbread village um, from bath and body works this was all the rave um, last fall winter season i love this so much last year that it was in my yearly giveaway that i do for two socialites i give away my favorite things from the that year um, I picked two people and put a basket together for them but y'all if you want something similar to Joe Malone's ginger biscuit this is similar and they do have the I don't know if it's coming back this season though I hope they bring it back but it did have the body spray version of it which was similar to this so if you wanted a more affordable version of ginger biscuit then Jolly Gingerbread Village was similar but I layered them together and this one has no of golden gingerbread you see what I mean it has vanilla icicles and yuletide temper so it's nice when I tell you so super similar it smells like a gingerbread cookie as well and for me the Bath and Body Works body creams that are in this packaging are the most hydrating it's debatable because I've seen some people say they like the other one that's in sort of that you know that lotion but for me this one is and it has shea butter and hyaluronic acid in here and it says 24 hour moisture i get that moisture out of here uh, but more than anything y'all the scent it's incredible to me so another one that you guys need for the fall is um the eos body lotion vanilla cashmere um i recently Pick this up with the Target haul that I did. I was trying to get free shipping and needed to meet that $35 threshold. So I just ordered another one of these because I was out of it anyways. This one is very hydrating and it smells like a vanilla butter cake. It says the notes are whipped vanilla, soft musk, and cozy caramel. And it gives all of the above. If you like sweet dessert-like scents, I highly recommend you get this for fall and winter to layer with any of your like vanillas or spicy scents. This goes perfect with every single fragrance that I mentioned today. And so the last one that I wanted to mention is actually the Fenty Warm Sugar Butter Drop, y'all. But I'm out of them. I used all three. I had three jars. I used them all. I'm shocked <laughs> that I went through all three. But I did place an order for the new trio that I think has one of those in them and then it has the new caramel scent in there and the new marshmallow scent so i thought it'd be here by now and watch as soon as i finish this video ups will be probably dropping it off cozy cinnamon like it smells you know like a dessert or something like that and it's highly moisturizing as well a lot of people love the butter drop formula it's really good also a lot of people don't like that the warm sugar one has a shimmer in it so hopefully fenty will give us one that doesn't have the shimmer because I just feel like typically shimmer is for when you're showing more skin and usually in fall winter we don't show that much skin and for me that's one of them that I like to wear to bed my sheets I have to wash them a lot more often with that but nonetheless it's hydrating and I love the scent of it so comment down below let me know what are some of those smell goods that you're going to be pulling out for fall did you guys get anything at the uh, Bath and Body Works body lotion sale you know let me know what you got do you 
you guys have any fall combos that you think I should check out, uh, I'll have everything listed in the description box in case you're interested. If you're new here, welcome. I would love for you to come join the family by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cause I've been where you are. Too scared to show me love Cause too fresh with the scars What well, I don't have the answers